Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I am Socio Psycho and today is No Lag News, your weekly update for information regarding to gaming and otherwise. It's been a hectic week, and so I'm sorry for the lateness in this No Lag News. Now let's start off with analysts say digital sales made up 92% of PC game market in 2013. I'm surprised that it's not more. I know if you go to a few stores they might still have a PC game section, though it's mostly giant triple A titles, World of Warcraft, Starcraft, other variations. When you go to a store to buy a game it's really just consoles that you see, the PC section is usually non-existent. I guess it really comes down to mothers or older people who want to get a gift for someone but doesn't know anything about the PC world. EA announced financial results for 2013 that it actually made more money from PC sales than PlayStation 3. When will they realize that if you want to make money, step one, make a game on PC. Step two, make it for PC, not console in any fashion. No port, no cross port. While a few games might be able to slip past that rule due to the flexibility of the nature of a game, the majority don't and fall very short as a PC game. The platforms and the way you interact is so different and the consoles are very limiting. No matter what game you enjoy on a console, it doesn't change the fact that you can't do as much in a well-crafted game for PC. Speaking of PC gaming, a group calling itself Lizard Squad launched a series of DDoS attacks against gaming servers including Battle.net, Sony Online Entertainment, League of Legends, Xbox Live, and a few others over the weekend. They even used a bomb threat to divert American Airlines flight carrier of Sony Online Entertainment president John Semley to a different location. A DDoS is simply a distributed denial of service attack. It's not particularly elegant technique. Those in the hacking world would call people who use a DDoS simply a script kitty. All it does is send so much traffic to a server that it clogs that server and people can't get in. Those responsible have a claiming link to the ISIS, the Islamic State of Iraq or Syria, or otherwise known as worthless pieces of shit who are nothing but cowards hiding behind religious ideas. The group is more likely admirers of the ISIS rather than actually a terrorist cell in their own. They look up to them like a father figure, only proving what pathetic kids they truly are. The thing that bugs me about this the most is, the overreaction of how much it's affected the gaming world. Some say it brought the gaming community to its knees. Uh, <laughs> no, not even close. A small scale DDoS attack isn't going to bring the gaming world to its knees. It's merely annoying to a lot of online gamers. Steam ran fine, no issues there, and any other servers, it was no more annoying than when you log on and you find out the servers are down for maintenance. You say, oh darn, then go do something else, or gasp, we have to go outside? Oh no, the overreaction to this was just blown way out of proportion. This is a joke by a sad little group that was nothing more than a fly you brush away. Good job, Lizard Squad. You inconvenienced us for a day, and by doing so, crossed the line of criminal activity. Enjoy the FBI and other national agencies looking for you because they're not going to sit around and wait for you to attack them. If you go after governmental programs, it's a lot more severe than if you go after individual companies. But they're not just going to sit there and be like, oh, well, we see you've been causing issues and troubles for all these companies. We'll just wait until you do it to us. No, you've already crossed the line of criminal activity. It doesn't matter how much inconvenience you put gamers through, or even if you destroy someone's online profile. Because at the end of the day, Lizard Squad, at the end of the fucking day, you will still be just a worthless piece of shit. And no matter how hard you try in any fashion to disprove that, your actions will only reinforce it. You're pathetic and worthless, and you hide behind false ideologies. Trying to make yourself look bigger and tougher when you're nothing but fucking a little pathetic baby climbing into your mommy's teat. Speaking of worthless trash, we have Lindsay Lohan, who is suing Rockstar over the likeness of her in GTA 5. She says the character Lacey Jones is molded after her and she deserves payment. 
This coming from someone with multiple DUI and drug possession charges, as well as multiple probation violations, who also happens to be completely broke at the same time? Huh. All she knows how to do is make money off her looks sexually, one way or the other, and cling on to other people like the parasite she is. Even if, even if, it comes out, she is right. And Rockstar used her fucked up life and self-image as a model for the character, it would fall under satire, and Rockstar's ass covering of any similarities in a game character to real life is just coincidence. So here is what you do, Lohan, because legally you have no case. You take a deep breath, and when you get your fucking life together by relying on yourself, not other people or substances. You're not special. Get over it. Now, on to a lighter note, let's watch some porn on a 3DS. Okay, well maybe not, but someone out there does. Pornhub released a bunch of graphs yesterday, breaking down the platforms people are viewing their services on. I'm not surprised, people like porn, and people watch porn however they can get to it. PlayStation, Xbox, Wii, Nintendo, but Nintendo 3DS? Or PS Vita? <laughs> Why? I just, I don't understand. I don't, I don't get it. I mean, is that easier? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I guess if you like porn that much, you just want to take it everywhere you go. We're going camping. We have no cell phone reception. Don't worry, guys. I got my 3DS. We'll watch porn. Sounds like a great idea. What? <laughs> uh, it's been a hectic week and a chaotic world that we live in. A lot of death and suffering and pain. A lot of darkness in our own individual lives as well. There's a lot of things that want to try to get us down in life. Whether it be gaming or attacks on gaming or wars, disease, whatever the case may be, no matter how bad it is, there are things in life which we can clamor to, which will help us make our existence a little bit easier. And I'd like to share one of those instances with you right now. So I leave you with one of the few joys of the world. No matter how dark things get in life, always remember, somewhere, at some time, a panda has had sex. Thank you ladies and gentlemen, for I've been Social Psycho and this has been No Lag News. Your weekly update for gaming information and otherwise. I'll see you next time.